Hi, this is Jan from the University of Westphalia in Gelsenkirchen. Today we are going to have a look at on how to create ROS packages. So today we are going to create ROS packages. Afterwards we are going to edit the bash RC. Then we are going to learn how to browse these packages and then we are going to have a look at dependencies and what dependencies have to do with packages. Good. At first, open your terminal window and we have to create our working directory. In this working directory all our ROS packages will be created in the future. Good. So browse into your home directory and type make directory mkdir and give it a name. I will call it working space. Good. Press enter. After you've done this you have to edit the bash rc type gedit or any other text editor you like dot bash rc in your terminal window really easy so and then you have to type in this line i have to uncomment it cuz i have it i've had it in there before type export ros package path and then your home directory followed by working space or otherwise the folder you've just created followed by dollar ROS package path. Really easy. This is so ROS knows exactly where all your packages are lying. Save this file and close your window again. Good. Next thing what we can do is, or what we have to do is, change directory in to our working space and then we can create our first ROS package. So type ROS create package and then followed by our package name. Let's call it first package for example. This is just an example. After this we have to type in our dependencies. We've got a few standard dependencies. At the beginning we use standard message oh sorry, standard messages ROS P for Python and ROS ROS CPP for C++. So again, really slow. ROS create package creates your package, followed by your package name and then followed by your dependencies. You can type as many dependencies as you want or as you need. Good. Then you just press enter and hopefully you will get something like this. Good. Now we can close our terminal window again to update the bash rc and you could type ROS CD for ROS change directory and then our package name. And if you press tab, it should auto complete. There we are. And if you type ls, then you are right into, uh, then you are in your package you've just created. Good. Another thing, another useful thing is if you um, if you want to find a package, then you can type ROS pack find followed by your package and then it will give the um then it will show the directory you've put it in good to have a look at what um dependencies your package depends on you can use ros pack again and type ros pack depends one for first class dependencies first package path first package sorry and again here you can use tab again to autocomplete. And here, voila, you can see the three dependencies we just created. Good. Another thing is what you can do is you can see here here's a mani uh, here's a some data called manifest.xml. You can type cut manifest.xml and here you can see your dependencies again. Good. If you want to see, um, or let me show you something. You can type in ROS pack again. Depends without the one. So now we are having a look at all the dependencies our pack our package um, depends on. First package. 
and here you can see there are many more because this is the reason for this is because our three dependencies have even more dependencies on their own it's like a tree structure good so this was it for today so what you have to understand to use packages you have to understand ROS create package like at the beginning followed by our package name and then followed by our dependencies this creates your package with ROSPACK you can um, get um, information about your package like for example um, where it is on your de on your um, hard disk and otherwise you can use ROSCD to browse all your packages you've got and then you can use tab for autocomplete so good thank you very much and goodbye